Hello Aquarius and welcome to your monthly love tarot reading. This message will be for the month of November. If you find this message is helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome and I upload messages daily. So, Aquarius, really quick announcement. I'm going to start offering three free personal readings a month here on the channel just to show my appreciation. Um, if you want to get on, on the action of the drawing, feel free to, one, subscribe to the channel, two, like your favorite videos, and three, comment your astrological sign below. So if that's something that you want to get in on, again, the information is in the description box. So, and if you've already subscribed to the channel, obviously you can't subscribe again, so just keep liking your favorite videos and commenting below to be entered into the drawing. So, Aquarius, 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 we are going to look at your past, present, future, your love, interest, past, present, future, um, what's challenging this and the outcome. Get the sense here that you're feeling trapped. So you overindulge. Maybe go out a lot, um, party. have frivolous sex to ignore these negative emotions from your past. Um, the Page of Cups also could be um, I get the sense here that this may be coming to an end. This lifestyle is going to catch up with you. Um, I feel like, and I get the sense that you feel this way too, Aquarius. This can't go on forever. And I also get the sense here that um, with the death card, this card symbolizes death of ego. I feel like there's going to be some significant situation that happens. Maybe this is in relationship. You catch feelings for somebody. Or have caught feelings for somebody, but this person isn't all that they seem to be. They may have a lot of money, maybe well off, maybe taken care of financially, but I feel like they play this game better than you do. They play, they play this game better than you do. So this energy is going to get you in trouble. I really get the sense here, Aquarius, that somebody is juggling, whether it's you or the other person. However, I feel like both people are exuding the same energy. You guys are mirroring each other here. And so for your partner in the past, they've dealt with the same situation. They're dealing with karma from their past.
they may be serving you a little bit of karma as well. Um, but I do get the sense here that they are well off. They take care of business. So there's the four of wands tells me this isn't this isn't going to happen. I feel like they're going to block this connection. And you're going to learn some very valuable lessons from this. Um, bringing you closer to your soul's purpose. Bringing your, you closer to your soulmate. True soulmate. They're bringing in opportunities of learning, okay? I feel like you're going to be walking away from this connection, but it's, I don't see it happening right away. I feel like you may, because of this, Ace of Pentacles, I feel like that's why you're going to be entertaining this. They're doing it, I'm doing it, but at least they got money. At least they're taking care of, they may even be taking care of you. Or, you know, giving you gifts to try to keep your mind off of this. This juggling. Three of Winters, the Three of Swords card symbolizes sadness. It's going to bring up a lot of sadness, a lot of negative energies. But I really get the sense here that you are going to be focusing on your self, focusing on your money, focusing on your finances. Um... Be assertive when it comes to what you want out of the situation. What you know is right. Don't let them distract you with money. Don't let them cover this up. Like, oh, I know that I do that. I'm so sorry, but here's a gift. Mm-mm, buddy. Take your gift elsewhere. Unless that's your thing. Hey, if it's your thing, if you want the money, don't take the gifts. Be like, can I get the $200 instead of this purse? <laughs> I don't like this purse. I like the other color. Give me the money instead. Right? There's a lot of growing happening here. I'm joking about the not taking the purse and asking for money, Aquarius. Um, I don't get the sense that you're going to entertain that energy. Um, I really feel like you're going to be moving forward from this connection, no matter what they're offering you. I feel like you, if you haven't already, you are going to be emotionally withdrawing from the situation. But understand you have the strength to get through this. Um, you're learning, you're gaining a lot of wisdom. You're learning a lot about yourself within this connection. It's helping you to gain perspective on things that you may have done in the past and it could even pop into your head like man that's how this person felt when that happened and you may not have known that until now you may not have felt that until now so understand that there's a lot of valuable things that you're learning from the situation. It's bringing you a lot of strength, a lot of wisdom, and um, it's helping you to grow. There is sadness. There is a lot of loss. There is a lot of anxiety. 
within this reading, but those are when the hardest lessons are the most valuable when it comes to helping other people move forward. So, let things come and go, stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. So that is the message I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you want to get in on the action for the drawing, the information is in the description box. If you're already a subscriber, just keep liking and commenting on your favorite videos. All the love and support is very much appreciated. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.